11 Secrets Advertisers Don't Want You To Know Going to a cafe or store, we usually have an idea of what we're going to buy there. However, we often make purchases on a whim that we can't later explain even to ourselves. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Have you ever spent much more than you planned? If so, watch these ingenious tricks advertisers use and hope to get all of your money at once. The last trick is totally unfair. We think it should be prohibited forever. So let's see how marketing experts fool us. 11. They offer a trendy product The simplest of goods sometimes return in glory after a rebranding. Will anyone these days buy ordinary cakes and take pictures of them for Instagram? Not at all. However, if you slightly change the recipe, update their looks, and turn them into fancy cupcakes, the cake will gain a second wind. A boring muffin would cost $1.50, and a fancy one, 3 bucks. 10. They use psychological tricks in the menu. Here are five restaurant tricks that make you order more. Let's have a look at all of them. The use of family images. Family and childhood associations arouse good memories. Ordering grandma's soup, we subconsciously expect it to carry us into our childhood. Appetizing descriptions. Appetizing descriptions such as fresh hot bread with a crispy crust make our food reflexes react. How can anyone resist it, especially if it's from Provence? Placement The upper part of the menu is the place where you look first. That's why restaurants put the most delicious looking and most expensive dishes there. Don't let the marketing gurus catch you. Read the menu till the end. Warm colors It's amazing how much color has to do with our appetite. It's been scientifically proven that warm shades arouse the appetite better. That's why food advertisers use yellow, red, and orange colors so often. Price Tricks People have trouble parting with their money, and restaurants know that. That's why they often don't indicate the currency. 9. They use a comparison If customers consider some goods too expensive and avoid them, marketing experts use this trick. They just place a similar product with a higher price so that the initial one seems cheaper by comparison. So its sales will go up again. <laughs> to be honest, I've always suspected this. 8. They create a legend Another nice move is to create a legend that will follow the product. Sometimes they don't even care whether it makes sense. For instance, Milky Way made a TV commercial in the early 90s showing the candy bar floating in a glass of milk. Nonsense? Sure it is. However, it became a distinguishing feature for Milky Way bars. 7. They make use of our laziness Merchandisers know we're often too lazy to open up the plastic package and fetch just one bottle. They also know that many people would think it's a good idea to take the whole package for later use, wouldn't you? 6. They know human psychology Red price tag We tend to associate a red price tag with a reduced cost, even though that's not always the case. The price may remain the same, and the tag is just a bright piece of paper. A big cart A huge cart is a well-known trick to coerce us into buying more stuff than we need. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, go with a smaller one. Left to right movement Many stores are arranged so that the customers go counterclockwise. We always turn left and most frequently look at the middle of the wall to the right, exactly where merchandisers put the expiring or most expensive goods. Small tiles on the floor. Carts make much more noise on them, and we slow down to avoid it. This makes us spend more time at the store, taking a good look at the offers and probably buying more. 5. They sell twice as much have you ever wondered why people in chewing gum ads always take two pieces at a time? Well, that's a trick to make you think it's the correct way to chew it. Meanwhile, you'll use twice as many pieces during the same period, and manufacturers will sell more. The same goes for certain drugs and vitamins. The text on a shampoo bottle reminding you that you can apply the shampoo twice works similarly well. 4. They add authority Manufacturers always try to make their products look more trustworthy and reliable.
For instance, they inform you that there's exotic flower essence contained in the shampoo, even if it's at a 1 to 10,000 ratio. Also, they may disregard the actual usefulness of this flower for your hair. Another trick is to say that this shampoo is recommended by each and every stylist in Paris or Hollywood. 3. They raise the price for similar goods It turns out that goods for women cost 7% more than similar products for men, despite the only difference being their color. Why is this so unfair? This phenomenon has been nicknamed the pink tax and is due to the opinion that women are the best customers. This mainly concerns shampoos, shaving accessories, and children's goods. 2. They misrepresent goods Writing descriptions for food products, marketing experts often manipulate terms. For instance, the famous potato chips Pringles are not really potato chips, with actual potato content being only 42%. This also explains their unnaturally perfect shape. The same goes for cheese, especially that in separately packed slices. The content of real cheese is less than 51%, so the manufacturers have to label it cheese product, though in small letters written far away from brand names containing the word cheese. 1. They make things serve for less time. In 1957, Hinkle's produced a batch of potato peelers that were so good, people bought them once in a lifetime. The sales were low. Then someone came up with a genius idea to paint the device's handles the color of potato peel. People started accidentally throwing away the peelers with the skins, and sales went up again. Try to recall, maybe you've got tools with similar characteristics? Have you ever noticed any other clever tricks in the stores? Share them in the comments to help all of us save money. And don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.